I don't know if you're like me, but I've always wanted to ride in a helicopter. So last July, I was in New York City with my husband, and I knew there was an exhibit at the Metropolitan Museum of Art that I really wanted to see. So I actually got to ride in a helicopter to go to one of the greatest museums in the entire world. And when a lot of us think of the Metropolitan Museum, we think of classical art, paintings. We don't necessarily or automatically think of architecture or fashion, but that is what I was at the Met to see. In the American wing, there was an exhibit called In America. It's divided into two parts. One is a lexicon of fashion and the other is an anthology of fashion. And I was able to see both parts at the same time at the Met and I brought you along to see it with me. An anthology of fashion is American fashion through time. So it had a number of different designers, some of whose names you would recognize and others who you weren't, uh, who you wouldn't. Um, different designs of theirs on display. There was one large gallery where all of these images are from, sort of taken through time, looking at the ways in which American fashion has changed throughout the years, hence the anthology. And then there were a series of rooms, because the way the Metropolitan Museum is set up, they have an entire American wing with architecture and interior design. Um, there were a series of rooms, each of which styled by a different movie director. And I was delighted to see some fashion designers who maybe didn't get a lot of attention. So this entire room, for example, is by Martin Scorsese, who's done this whole like art deco, 30s fashion, sort of pretend cocktail party inside a Frank Lloyd Wright house, complete with storyline and plot. Uh, and has posed all these people and the placards all get these extensive explanations of how the director came up with their ideas. I even got to discover some fashion designers I didn't already know. So for example, that earlier room with all the rosettes, that was Anne Lowe, who I've written about on my blog in my Great Women of Sewing series. This is Elizabeth Hawes, a designer I was not familiar with, and the director had essentially recreated her studio workspace in the 50s, um, and it was very cool to see the different designs that she was doing throughout the 30s, 40s, 50s, and beyond, and the ways in which she was kind of subverting people's expectations of what messages we send. And that's a nice transition into the other part of this um, exhibit, which was called a lexicon of American fashion. This entire portion of the exhibit is built around the concept of patchwork. This idea that, that all of American identity is built out of different parts of us. Um, and so each of these pieces of fashion is selected as both a garment and a work of art, and then was assigned an adjective that is representative of one aspect of American personality. There's a book that goes along with it. Maybe you didn't know that, that most major exhibits at American museums will often produce a hardcover commemorative guide to go along with the exhibit. This particular one I've linked to so that you can find it for yourself if you want. And it has the verbatim information from the placard that accompanied each of the pieces of clothing that was um, shared in the exhibit on display. So it shows you the designer, it shows you when it was made, it shows you for what fashion house perhaps it was made, and then it describes why it was selected to be included in this particular exhibition. Anna Wintour, our editor of Vogue magazine, was a big part of this particular installation. And so all of these are heavily influenced by not only this idea of patchwork, togetherness, identity, but also of fashion as a way to communicate the same ideas and ideals that high art communicates. And I don't usually think of myself as a fashion lover, kind of heavy on the quotes there. I think of myself as someone who enjoys the construction of garments, who likes the engineering side more of sewing clothing. But this exhibit really impacted me. Walking through these almost shadow boxed displays where each garment was isolated but not separate and where I could begin to see the connectedness of these designs from one to another had this huge impact on me and how I think about the clothing that I sew. I really loved the idea of placing American fashion in a historical context 
right? I like the idea of how it is a reflection of what's happening in our social culture at the time, but also how it pushes the edges and forces us to ask questions that maybe we wouldn't be asking any other way. That at particular points in time, the clothing that we wear is reflective of our values and ideals. But then every single garment on display also reminded me that each of these designs is not simply the work of someone who decided that morning to take up a needle and thread, but is the result of thousands of hours at the sewing machine, thinking about how clothing goes together, thinking about alternate ways of creating a garment, thinking about how the body works and moves, thinking about the messages that we want to send or the ideals we want to embrace. I definitely did not love every single garment that was on display. Although I confess I loved this dress so much, I would have worn it outside to the falafel cart and never taken it off ever again. Um, there were definitely some pieces that were included in this ex exhibition that were jaw-droppingly beautiful. And there were others that I didn't care for at all. But what I really embraced about seeing this, and the entire thing is still going on at the Metropolitan Museum through the end of September 2022, what I really loved um, in seeing it was the way in which it asked me to consider the clothing that I wear and that I make in a different way. It, it was diff This is not... This is not shopping, right? A lot of these clothes are not things that are practical to wear in everyday life. And so why do they exist? And others are so ubiquitous that they have become part of our landscape. And I mean that they're the designs border on invisible because they are something we've become so accustomed to seeing. Others are really a statement about who matters, who gets to be an American, who gets to be sexy, who gets to go to work, who gets to be independent, who who gets to be free. Um, some of them are, are statements about where we come from, others are statements about where we want to go, and it, it asked me to think differently about the clothing that I make and the purpose I want it to serve. It actually made me want to make fewer things of higher quality because I was so enamored of the way that, that fashion seemed to reflect um, ideas and passion and identity in a whole new way after seeing this exhibit.